All right, that's enough of that. We must play game. We must play more game. Let's play Rocky and Bullwinkle. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends for the Game Boy. The Nintendo Game Boy Game Pack. Oh, can this game be as good as the NES game? Will it possibly live up to the expectations set forth by the wonder and power of the Nintendo game? We shall see. We shall have to investigate. Uh, so this is the exact same box art as the NES game. This game, as far as I can tell, was released before the NES game, according to, I think, Game Facts. So who knows how reputable that is. Uh, this was made not by Radical Entertainment. This is... This is Imagineering. Oh, we're going back to my happy place of Imagineering. I love Imagineering. Imagineering. Glen Rock, New Jersey. We're going back to Glen Rock. To play some Game Boy games. <sighs> oh, oh, this is gonna be good. Okay. Uh, so Imagineering made the Super Nintendo and Mega Drive Rocky and Bullwinkles, which, as far as I know, are the same game. They also made this Game Boy one. The Game Boy one was released first, then the Nintendo one, and then the Super Nintendo one. That's the, my understanding of the series. I don't think we'll have time to get to the Super Nintendo one today. But that just leaves more Rocky and Bullwinkle in the future. Uh, exact same box art as the NES. Literally identical. This one does not advertise maximum fun, though. Now, it's interesting how the characters on the box art do not all appear in the video game. <laughs> Very interesting choice. Like, I don't think we saw Curly Mustache Man or fairy or red-haired girl or dudley do right in the nest game he's not saw, saw a lot of boris and natasha and a lot of rocky and bullwinkle the other characters not so much flip it over Ooh. stolen treasures hokey smokes those nasty, no good nicks boris badenov and natasha have taken priceless treasures from the rocky and bullwinkle museum now, it's up to our daring duo to scan the globe for the missing loot. Join Bullwinkle J. Moose as he searches Frostbite Falls and Rocket J. Squirrel on his moon mission to find the hidden valuables. Plenty of chills, spills, and a cliffhanger or two await our heroes, courtesy of Boris and Natasha. You said it. Dodge explosives, booby traps, and assortment of Moose and Squirrel. Wait, what? What? This doesn't even makes sense plenty of chills spills and a cliffhanger or two await our heroes courtesy of boris and natasha okay the first sentence is normal you said it why is that parenthetical there dodge explosives booby traps and an assortment of moose and squirrel we have to dodge an assortment of moose and squirrel but we're playing as moose and squirrel we have bonus round gridiron action at what's the matter you we, have, we get to collect acorns and mooseberries for power-ups. And it's a classic comedy dash adventure for the entire family. This is not marketed to children aged 4 through 10. This is for the entire family to enjoy. Toy headquarters. I guess that is what THQ stands for, yeah. I never knew that either. Toy headquarters, THQ. Uh, the screenshots look nice. They look nice. Screenshots look nice. <laughs> Absurdity, welcome. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, raiders. How's it going? Well, welcome to the stream. Abs, nerd, dit. Uh, I can't spell. Welcome, everybody. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to the stream. I hope the summoning went well. That game looks insane. <laughs> that game looks insane. Uh... We're gonna play Rocky and Bullwinkle. We just finished Rocky and Bullwinkle on the nest. It was a delightful time. We have a man in a trash can with a broom. There's a man in a trash can with a broom. Let's read the manual. Uh, where did I put it? Where? where? 
Where am I? What am I doing? Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends. The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle and Friends for the Game Boy. Thank you for purchasing The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle for the Game Boy handheld system. We hope you enjoy many hours of heroic action and hilarious adventure as you take the role of the world's most famous moose and squirrel. As our intrepid heroes, you're out to rescue the stolen treasures from the Rocky and Bullwinkle Museum. Hmm. Could those infamous no goodniks from Potsylvania be up to their old tricks? Stay tuned for Return to the Jedi or whatever happened to, Ker to Kerwood Derby. I don't understand. <laughs> don't try to take your game pack apart. Okay, everybody, don't try to take this game pack apart. table of contents dateline frostbite falls minnesota our story begins with a celebrated opening of the rocky and bullwinkle museum in beautiful downtown frostbite falls in attendance are the curator of the exhibit captain peter wrongway peach fuzz and a crack squad of security guards unfortunately two of the guards have foreign sounding accents and nasty smiles oh dear why it's those potsylvanian no good nicks themselves boris badenov and natasha fatal they're out for the fabled treasures that Rocky and Bullwinkle have collected through their many adventures. Sure enough, right under our heroes' very noses, muzzles, the loop disappears. This looks like a job for... <laughs> I'll press the start button and you'll see. <laughs> so start already. Put the Rocky and Bullwinkle game pack in your Game Boy and turn it on. After the title screens advance, you'll see the story unfold. If you're in a big hurry, just press the start button to move into the first level of action. Excitement. And a well-harassed moose. Yes, Bullwinkle searches the streets, rooftops, and alleyways of Frostbite Falls for the first missing treasure. Not that Boris and Natasha won't do everything in their power to thwart him. Dodge bombs, knives, and killer poodles as you run to the rescue of not only a valuable artifact, but a bound and gagged squirrel, too. But wait, there's more. After, if, you succeed in rescuing Rocky, it's his turn to do the same for Bullwinkle, only this time on the moon. Rocky uses his incredible leaping ability on the surface of the moon to locate his tall yet dim-witted buddy from the clutches of Fearless Leader. Spelunk into hidden caves and craters, seeking the elusive treasure and an acorner, too. Hurry, though, before Bullwinkle is used as a launch pad for the Potsylvanian space fleet. Look out for the moon men, Cloyd and Gidney, with their scrooch guns, giant metal-munching moon mice, and other squirrel-sized dilemmas just waiting for you. Scrooch guns? Sp I'm really happy to see the word spelunk. I love that word. Hey, Gooney, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. We're going deep into the dankness today. And now for the bad news. Should you advance to the next and final area of gameplay, you will find that you're back to Moostum. Yes, Bullwinkle returns for an all-out assault on the dreaded Abominable Manor. Rocky is at the mercy of Fearless Leader. You want to talk about Abominable Manors. And it's up to Bullwinkle to save the day. Save the game, for that matter. This is the final test of your skills. Good luck, and may the farce be with you. What moves you? The directions for the character's movements are recorded below. Not that you need us to tell a seasoned gamer like you how to move Rocky and Bullwinkle, but we thought it was important enough to jot it down for the other players out there. Uh, left and right. I wonder if this is accurate. Left and right moves left and right. Move selection arrow in those directions during the fortune telling lady minigame? Mini games. Up moves the moon elevator up while Rocky's on it. Begins fortune teller fortune telling lady mini game. When character is standing in front of it and has at least one token. This is complicated. Down makes Bullwinkle duck. Down. Moves the moon elevator. Start button to pause and unpause. A button. Used to make characters jump. B button makes Bullwinkle do his head butt antler attack. Makes Rocky do his tailspin attack. Oh, cool. 
Collect the items and icons listed below to make your journey a little bit easier. Okay, a lot easier. The mooseberry, the acorns, the face, the face, the coin. Oh. The mini games. If you've been paying attention during the last few pages, you probably noticed a few references to the fortune telling lady minigame. This is one of two mini games that's found throughout the adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. As mentioned earlier, you must have found at least one coin to try your luck with the little lady. If you collect three or more similar cards in this game, you'll gain limited invulnerability. Don't go gonzo here. You can still plummet to a bottomless pit and ruin your day. The other minigame is a touchdown try at the famed stadium of Wasamata University. Here, Bowwinkle throws Rocket J Squirrel and then must race down the field to catch him for a touchdown and an extra life. To do this, you must jump over the small defenders and headbutt the big ugly ones. This game seems like, it might be, seems like it might be awesome. Some notes on gameplay. Many things in Frostbite Falls are capable of supporting the weight of a full-grown moose. For instance, windowsills, garbage cans, and the tops of telephone poles, among other things. Look everywhere you think a diabolical mind would hide a perfectly good squirrel. When on the moon... Making repeated jumps without moving left or right will make you jump higher each time. Okay. Look for familiar faces in the crowd. We hope you notice a few old friends of the muse of the muse and the squirrel. That's that. Oh, look at the names. Look at these look at the names attached to this. It's been a while when did we, when did we last dive into Imagineering. It feels like it's been ages since I last experienced the joy of an Imagineering video game. How long has it been since Imagineering? The Ren and Stimpy show Buckaroos for the Super Nintendo back in September. It's been three months since I played an Imagineering game. I've been slacking. According to my list, this will be the 13th Imagineering game played on stream. <laughs> this is the 13th Imagineering game. Thirteen. We're going to play their whole catalog. Uh, Dan Kitchen, Barry Marks, Mark Beardsley, Mark Beardsley, Tack Lyle, Glenn Schofield, Mark Van Heck on the music. Dan Kitchen, good old Howard Phillips. A yash engine man, Dan Kitchen from Activision. So like a lot of the old, well not a lot, a couple of the old Activision guys formed Imagineering, and they put out some games. <laughs> a lot of people really hate Imagineering games from Glen Rock, New Jersey, and for good reason. I love them. They are quite near and dear to my heart. They're one of the greatest things, one of the greatest developers that I came to know about during streaming. I'd never played an Imagineering game. No, I take that back. I played The Simpsons Bart vs. The World. I think that's the only Imagineering game I ever played as a kid. They weren't able to, I wasn't able to experience the joy of Imagineering as a kid. But through streaming, the opportunity to play these games has filled me with joy. I really like Imagineering. Let's play Rocky and Bowlinker for the Game Boy. Game Boy. Delete. Timer. Change. Text. G. B. Add capture. Same boy. Uh, just in case that everything glitches out, let's open up Joy to Key as well. Okay, may need that. Oh. oh. Baby, here we go. Move that over there.
Nice. This looks really nice. Our story begins in beautiful downtown Frostbite Falls, where a major event is about to take place. The grand opening of the Rocky and Bullwinkle Museum. In attendance are the Intrepid Moose and Squirrel themselves. Oh. Not to mention the museum curator, Captain Peter Peach Fuzz. Hi there. Hey. Or hey, I thought you weren't going to mention him. Yes, well, on display is an exhibit of priceless objects our heroes have collected from their past exploits. And what would a museum be without a crack staff of dedicated guards with strange foreign accents, mustaches, and hey wait a minute strange foreign accents mustaches could it be of course it could be smart guy oh that's boris talking you were expecting maybe jay ward i don't know how to do a boris accent oh my it's boris badnov and natasha fatal what do you two know good Nick's up to? Shall we tell him, darling? Tell Schmel. Seeing is believing. And with that, the priceless objects began to disappear. The Picayune Pot. The Ruby Yacht. <laughs> Full marking off. <laughs> the Kerwin Derby. The Ruby Yacht. What will our heroes do now? I think we better start. The game to find out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, my understanding is this is based on the Super Nintendo game, but this one came out first. So perhaps the Super Nintendo game is based on this. Maybe this is the true version. Two people made this. Two programmers, one graphics, one music. Powerful Mark Van Heck on the music. You love to hear it. Dan Kitchen. There's Howard Phillips. <laughs> Didn't Howard Phillips work at Nintendo for a while? I don't know his whole story. Alright, let's play it. Let's start the game. Skip. Following Rocky's advice to begin the game, Bullwinkle takes to the sometimes friendly streets of Frostbite Falls in search of the purloined prizes. Uh, 
Oh, the trash can. He really uses his neck to headbutt. To headbutt. Shouldn't the headbutt be more of like a full body approach? And not just not just a neck? He really uses his neck. I guess he kinda leans into it. I'm almost dead. Is that a death pit? <laughs> okay. Dude! <laughs> what is he supposed to- what? Oh, this is good. This is a good game. Alright, let's jump this way. Oh, if you touch him, you get hurt. Uh, even if you touch him with your antlers, you get hurt. Okay. Jump. So theoretically, there's something I can do from this point. Oh, the windows! This is Imagineering. You gotta think like you're playing an Imagineering game. See this? This is peak Imagineering game design right here. This is exactly what I like to see. Can I make this jump? Nice! I got health! No jumping and headbutting, nope. You either jump or you stand still and headbutt. <laughs> I guess we're going down. <laughs> I wonder if the headbutt does anything. <laughs> <laughs> it owns him. This is sick. Ugh. Oh, the health didn't come back. Lion leap. <laughs> Standing on a door. Uh, okay. Can Moose stand on doors? That seems highly unlikely. There's health up there! How does one ascend to the heights necessary to achieve the health? Oh, this way, okay. There's a puzzle platformer. This is... God! This game was made- Oh, Natasha! This game was made for me. They made this... I died. Game over. What is this noise? Little sock on a cow, welcome. J6667, welcome. Oh, I'm happy to hear you're enjoying Gerard. Spectacular games. Spectacular games. Alright, let's go again. Almost, one might say, almost as good as Rocky and Bullwinkle games. Perhaps in some regards, Drod might be a little better. Maybe? A little? Only in some regards, though. Can I get the health over here? Why is my health represented by bombs? <laughs> I don't know. Jump. Big jump. Get on the door. Oh, I gotta jump from here to the door. The water! I know Natasha's around here somewhere. There she is. Dun, 
Health. Water hurts you, absolutely. Look at this little grin, dude. Oh my goodness. Natasha's in the trash! We're being chased by a poodle! Okay. Jump. Hey, wait a minute. This building's taller than the rest. Get the health. Uh, I don't think I can successfully make it over here. So we jump. Get the health. We jump. Okay, money. We gotta find the fortune tellers. <gasps> health! We gotta try and find the fortune tellers so we can spend this hard earned cash. No! Oh, I touched the sparks! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what are we doing? Okay. Frostbite Falls. Is this stage end? Climbing higher and higher. Why do I want it to end? What am I saying? Dude, it's raining bombs! All this for a singular coin. A single coin. Let's... Oh, there's an apple up here too, or a bomb or whatever. <clears throat> oh, this is 100% an Imagineering work. An Imagineering joint. <gasps> Moose! This feels a lot like uh, Ren and Stimpy's Space Cadet Adventure. Also by Imagineering, released around the same time as this. <laughs> Sewer level. Do we ride the lamp? We do not ride the lamp. Press A to begin. Oh, wow. Okay. What are we doing here? I want to get matches, right? So we want to discard that, discard that. I win! And now we're invincible. We have momentary invulnerability, except I can't see where I'm going. <laughs> Amiga droplets! Giant mouse! Okay, invincibility's gone. <laughs> get the help! Get away! Get down! Can I make this? Oh yeah. Oh dear! Oh no, I missed the health. Fortune teller? This game is pretty bad. And I say that in a good way. It's kind of just... It's very Imagineering. Can I stand on this? Ooh, okay.
Alright, let's get some invincibility. <laughs> this is quite ridiculous. Alright. I got nothing. We got nothing here. We'll keep Moose. Come on, Moose. Come on, Moose. back in. Nothing! Oh no, I got two of those. Okay, so we discard, 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 deal. Just give me one Boris. Just need one more Boris. One Boris. Invincibility. Take full advantage of this momentary invincibility. Okay, it's gone. Oh, you can get four bombs of health. Oh, how generous. I lost my bomb. <laughs> Careful. Okay, wait, this game was good. This might be good. I didn't think that would still hurt me. The splashing of the drop as it explodes on the surface of the rail is enough to deal damage to our intrepid moose hero. Can I get to this without taking damage? <laughs> Definitely not! Okay, good. Natasha! It's too late. Seems like the levels are about three minutes too long. <laughs> They're maybe about twice as long as they feel like they should be. But that's okay. Means we get more game. Careful. There's no health up here. Get out of there! Is there health down here? No. <gasps> Moose! Something trapped me. I like how happy Bullwinkle looks. He's just so full of joy. I think the Nest game might be a little better. I think the Nest game might be a little bit better than this. Just as far as like fun factor goes, <laughs> the Nest game might be a little bit better than this. I feel like we've traversed the exact same sequence of drops and rails 300 times. Like, this is truly purgatory. Alright, let's go up here. Ooh, health! Okay, we need, I need that health. How does one acquire the health? Can we go like this? Ooh, nice! Okay. Onto the train. Natasha. Whoa! 
Okay, the screen has stopped scrolling, so this is probably the end of the level. We just must ascend out of the sewers. I fell. <laughs> this is quite satisfying platforming here. Just how slow he moves, like the slow ascent is so weird. <laughs> it's so weird. I guess I've never seen a moose, a moose jump in real life, so maybe this is accurate. Maybe they have accurately depicted what it's like for a moose to jump. What the heck? Oh, and jump here? No. Jump! <sighs> well, even though Bullwinkle has made it through, the streets of Frostbite Falls. He's not out of the concrete jungle yet. That Pottsylvania Poobah, fearless leader himself, has tied Rocky to a flagpole, high above the sidewalk below, and is about to give him an express ticket to the ground floor. What will Bullwinkle do? Join us after the football game <laughs> for the next exciting level. All tied up with no place to go or squirreling heights. <laughs> go. Oh, I'm not going to catch. I'm not going to catch. Okay, we can we can still do it. Jump. 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 When we last left Rocky, he was at the mercy of fearless leader. Can Bullwinkle get to him in time to save him from this dire fate? Timer! Oh dear! We gotta hustle! They mean business! This is just like Ren and Stimpy for the Game Boy. Like the structure of the stages, this is just like Ren and Stimpy on the Game Boy. Oh, I died. Like, the way it seems to alternate characters, the, the normal side-scrolling platform level mixed in with timed sections. This is Ren and Stimpy on the Game Boy, but Moose and Squirrel. I'm not trying to accuse Imagineering of repurposing assets for gameplay ideas. Thanks to Bullwinkle's semi-quick thinking and your better-than-average game playing, Rocky is safe. And the stolen Picayune pot has been recovered. Now, let's move on to the next leg of our chase, the moon. Beautiful music. <clears throat> oh, he hit me! So I think 
think there's three tiers of jump height. dead. Did Rocky fight aliens in the cartoon? Dead. It's Natasha. She's dead. Alright, mega jump. Mega jump! The rocks! Is this... Pumpkin head? Dead. What is this? What are we doing? Oh. oh dear. Gotta go. Gotta go. Kill the alien. Got him. <gasps> money, 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 money. Chamber of Nut? A secret nut chamber? We fell into the secret nut chamber. Ah! The nut chamber. Get out. Get out of the nut chamber. <laughs> the song. This might be one of Mark Van Heck's greatest songs. We fall into this nut chamber? Oh, there's like a thousand... Mouse? Huh? Go! It looks like we're going for full Boris again. Full house. We did it. Okay, now we have momentary invincibility. We must take full advantage of this power up. Bullwinkle launched us flying into space? What? What? Oh my goodness, 3 FPS! Okay. UFO! Uh, you can't kill the UFO. This is really good. Jump. Okay, good. <gasps> Get in the hole. Oh, it's a fake hole. Go under? Over this. I hear noises. <gasps> UFO! <gasps> oh, tricky, 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 tricky. <clears throat> I'm not sure what to do about those UFOs. I guess the trick is probably to set up a super bounce here. Dead. Whoa! Lightning from God. Oh no, that's just Boris. Go! I got shot! He's shooting through walls, he's cheating! We go up? Mega jump! 
mega jump. What is this terrain? Am I stacking super jumps? I guess I am. What is this? Oh my goodness! Yes! Okay, super jump. Oh, that's a death pit. I got garbage. Garbage dealt to me. Absolute garbage. Oh, uh, let's trust in Bullwinkle. Trust in the power of Moose. Come on, Bullwinkle. Come on, Bullwinkle. Oh. <laughs> you lose. Try again. Now we have to just hope that she deals us three in a row, or, or match three. <gasps> Thank you, Natasha. Invincible. What? Okay, whatever this thing is on the left hurts you. Whatever that thing is, it hurts you. I wonder how you're supposed to get past the mouse. I guess you just, you just, you just don't. Oh, moon elevators! I died. This route. Let's take a different route. What is this? What kind of death machine are these? Who builds these contraptions? These alien death ma death machines? Is that a Roomba? Down. Death machine. That might be a mouse trap or a squirrel trap. Yeah. Oh, dude, it got me. Okay, that's a squirrel trap. I see what they're putting down. Very clever. Uh, we can jump up here if we set up a super jump. Oh, look at all the nut. Delicious. Down we go. and Bullwinkle. Game over. That's not gonna stop me. We must go. Back to the beginning. Try again. Da, 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 da. Oh, thank you for the clip, Dino Pulse Zeta. Da, 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 da. So there's only three levels in this game. Uh, that was probably almost the end of level two. I feel confident in our abilities to finish the game on this attempt. Dude! Unless a poodle has something to do, some words to say about that. Ah, 
Oh, I want I want the bomb up there. I want the health bomb. Oh, sorry, you have to come around from the right. Dude! <laughs> Whatever. I'll take a hit to get the health. Whatever. Can I make it over this hydrant? Nope. I did. It's a burglar down there. Natasha! Poodle! Nowhere is safe! Nowhere is safe. Nowhere is safe. Okay, let's climb the building. I think this is the mega tall building. No death, Bullwinkle. Please don't, please don't perish. Okay. <laughs> Good ear, Reg, yes. This is indeed an Imagineering joint. Although the kitchens didn't actually work on it, as far as I can tell. Dan Kitchen has a producer credit. I don't think he actually did too much in the making of this game. But good ear, nonetheless. I need this health up here. You can definitely tell it's an Imagineering game because... The levels go on about 10 minutes longer than I feel like they should. There's repeated elements in the stage design, like patterns that are just copy and pasted. We're playing as a moose jumping on windowsills, climbing a skyscraper. That's about as imagineering as it gets. This jumping on windowsills is just pure imagineering. That's Glenrock. That's just how they do things in Glenrock, New Jersey. Natasha. Now the door. Okay, good. Now this part. Oh, dude! Can I get the coin? Ah! Moose? Get the coin? I win. Uh, getting f a match of three of any three cards of the same symbol, the same suit. Doesn't matter which three or which suit. If you get three of the same character, you get temporary invincibility. That's all. This lets you charge recklessly ahead. Which is actually really nice. Because it's very hard not to get hit by everything. Amiga droplets. Dynamite. Okay. I only have 810 points. This is a very low scoring game. Alright, we died. Back here. Just lost a lot of progress. <laughs> Put me back to the start of the stage because I didn't make the jump. Mm, devious. That's fine. 
The collectibles are gone. Oh, this is a much better program game than Rocky and Bullwinkle on the NES. The item collectibles do not come back if you take a death. Dude! Math puts me in serious danger here. Here. Oh, I almost missed that jump. Uh, go! <laughs> okay, the first train car. There's two train cars. It's the first of two train cars, because this level's about 30 minutes long. <laughs> okay, let's get the health. Natasha, Mouse, okay, good, <laughs> Amiga Droplets, I think there's health up here, okay, yeah. No health. I need healing. Moose needs food badly. Careful. The Train Escape to Normandy. I don't think I know that game. Is it fun? Is it good? It's a mysterious game. Oh, dude, I need that! Okay. Mega Droplets. What do I do? I should be able to make this jump to the left. Be careful. I think if I were to die here, it would set me all the way back to the fortune teller. So let's not do that. Let's try to avoid that terrible circumstance. It is good. Oh, it's good to hear. Maybe I'll have to check it out. Whoa. Nowhere is safe. Okay. <gasps> this is the end of the level. Just have to go up. It's almost time for football. <laughs> it's almost time for football. I miss Goof Gas. I wonder if this game lets us experience the joys of Goof Gas. <laughs> Skip. Neat Grandmaster, welcome. Football. Jump. Jump. Headbutt. 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 Jump. Touchdown. <laughs> Good. Okay, now we climb. Gotta go fast, there's a timer. Oh, I got hit. No, no, no. Fast, fast, fast. Fast. Bull we go faster. Faster. Timer! Bullwinkle! Faster! Faster! 
Fearless leader. Dead. Rocky is safe. We did it. Okay, level one complete. Let's go to the moon. We have three squirrel lives. This is a very good start. Maybe we can jump in this moon hole. Moon hole? No secrets in that moon hole. Moon hole? Ooh! I miss the days when video games were serious business. Like 1992 when they were making masterpieces like Rocky and Bullwinkle. Those were the good days of gaming. There's Boris! There's Natasha! What are they doing? What's their plan here? Oh! Whatever it was, it worked. They got me. I shouldn't criticize a successful venture. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I got hit! Gotta, play, gotta start playing it safe here. Set up a double jump. Get as much money as possible. Directly into the hole. Oh, this is going very well. No, I don't... Moon jumping is surprisingly difficult. You cannot move left or right to do a moon jump. You have to not move left or right and do three jumps in a row. For maximum height. Oh, this is bad. I am inclined to agree with you, syllogism. <laughs> I am inclined to agree. This feels like... I've said it before, this feels almost exactly like playing Ren and Stimpy's Space Cadet Adventures. Like, this is just Ren and Stimpy, Space Cadet Adventures, but Rocky and Bullwinkle. Okay, careful. So it looks like we can safely get past the Robo Mouse as long as we set up a super jump. Like that, okay. I'm gonna skip the fortune teller. Because I know how to deal with these. I'm not gonna skip the fortune teller, I panicked. Okay. 17 coins. Oh, we got two Dudley do rights. Okay, discard. Hope for a third. Hope for a third. I win. So we can use the invincibility to just run through the Robo Mice. There's Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle projects us into space. Or ejects us out of the crater. Right here. I wonder if there's something to the left. Let's investigate. Three frames per second. What? 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 Teleport? 
teleporting UFOs? Oh, this is optional. This is an optional side path. Okay. Interesting. That sucks. <laughs> Kate is welcome. Oh, uh, we played the Ness Rocky and Bullwinkle first today. I finished the Ness game. Took about two and a half hours. I had a great time with it. I really liked it. And now we're playing the Game Boy one. The goof gas was so absurd. I can't believe they got the goof gas, unintentionally apparently, to distort the music. Like, <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. It's just so good. Okay. <laughs> Alien. Is this a uh, health hole? No. Yeah, I, I, I enjoy NES Rocky and Bullwinkle. What, uh, the double, the double. Oh baby, a double. Okay, I go to there. So we need to wait here, set up a super jump. I did, I did, okay. There's Natasha. Okay, this is the Boris machine. So he tries to lead you with his Thor lightning strikes, his Zeus powers. He's got to double back. You don't want to jump in here. <laughs> All right. Ah, this part's really tricky. A checkpoint. I didn't think we'd get a checkpoint in this game. I was expecting no checkpoint. I just saw a little snack, a little treat. I'm not going for it. Let's go. Let's, let's trust, let's keep our faith in Bullwinkle. Bullwinkle has led me astray multiple times. Well, let's, let's, let's trust. Let's believe in Bullwinkle. Try again. Peach Fuzz? No, let's go with Boris. We're looking for three of a kind. That's all. Just three of a kind. There's a Peach Fuzz! Oh, we win. And our treat, our reward, is invincibility. About 15 seconds of invincibility? This is where we got the game over last time. This scene. Dodge the mouse traps. <sighs> I can't figure out how to get past these safely. Go. <laughs> Guess I should be over here. I guess that works. Okay. Oh, 
<gasps> There's health up here. You just need to make it up here. <gasps> uh, let's try and set up the super jump from here, though. Just gotta go for it. Go! Oh, uh, I botched it. There we go. So there's a super jump technique where if you do a stationary jump three times in a row, or rather each successive stationary jump gives you more height. To a maximum of three. We go down here now. Get owned. So you can't touch left or right on the control. <gasps> oh, you can't touch left or right. You just have to jump straight up multiple times to get to higher areas. There we go. Alien, freaking aliens, man! Ugh. You hit me twice. <laughs> Where am I? Okay, that was the start of the screen. Okay, okay. I know where I am. Down. I bet the one up is not going to respawn, nor will the health pickups, because nothing respawns in this game. <laughs> Mouse! No one up. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna try and get past the alien with the gun who's waiting for us right here. Whoa! No damage alien, okay. <laughs> nope. How? How? This is, this is jacked. Oh dear. Oh dear. Dragon. game over the exact same spot. Oh no. Okay, keep it together. Keep it together. Okay, save Rocky. We're playing as Rocky. We gotta save Bullwinkle. Even though we already saved Bullwinkle? He was just hanging out in a cave? Ah, oh, dang it. So what the heck is this? How is this impossible? Dude! Oh my goodness! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Rocky and Bullwinkle. Hey, 
aliens right here. So let's do a mega jump over that. Wait, mega jump. Hit him. No damage. Good. So looks like the trick here is to just do it. Oh my gosh. No! Oh! Oh! The tail! Oh, you have to like manipulate your hitbox by turning around and moving left and right on this little platform. <laughs> this is devious. Go. Please end. Please end. Oh, I got hit. Just one more. exact same spot got a game over in the exact same spot twice in a row we lost like six lives in that exact same spot what a disaster all right one more try this is the run this game might be really bad <laughs> this might be really bad i can't tell I can't tell if this is really bad or really good. This might be really bad. Natasha! Okay, good. Is this fun for the whole family? Doubtful. <laughs> have misled the player. It's like every stage just keeps going. A little too long. Oh, I didn't know you could make that jump. Oh, okay, new tech. Like, we're only about halfway done with this screen. There's really no reason to be jumping up here. There's really no reason. Jump on, jump on the door frame. Okay. We only need the invincibility. Look at this. This is. This is. Oh, we're playing it risky. I'm trying to save time by skipping the 10 minute long <laughs> fortune teller sequence. We just gotta go. We just gotta speed run this. We just gotta go fast. Like, all you do is you run and you jump. <laughs> Bullwinkle can't even hit any enemies. I can't hit any of these. All we do is we walk and we jump. It's pretty satisfying platforming. Was that the one, Chago, that like mixed live action characters with animated Rocky and Bullwinkle? I think I saw that. I think I watched that when it came out, but I don't remember. I don't remember anything about it. Oh, God. Dude! 
Back to the beginning. Hubris Gaming. That was... That was diabolical. That was dastardly. Where do we get the 1-up? There's a moose. There's a 1-up somewhere. I think I missed it. I think the 1-up was in the previous stage. Serious gaming hours here. I don't want to get another game over on Rocky and Bullwinkle. This is fun for the whole family. This might be harder than the NES game. This might be harder than the NES game solely for the fact that it's long and boring. <laughs> the NES game was anything but. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Okay. And so it's like, it, it's more of a challenge just to not get bored and lose focus playing. <laughs> Dude! Alright, we gotta reset. Game over. Okay, this is the run. This is the run. This is the run. <sighs> Why did he just clip through the boards on the floor? Oh, bomb! This is, this is... Did I make this jump? I thought I made that jump earlier. I must have made a different jump thinking it was that jump. <laughs> there! This is decidedly less fun than the NES game. Way less fun. Bullwinkle's pretty cute in this. Like, I like his sprite. <laughs> Dude! It's probably not quite as good as the NES game. No, no, this is just, this is just poverty. Poverty Rocky and Bullwinkle. No goof gas. No insane music. We just have somewhat normal music. I think the one up might be up there, but I cannot possibly check. Maybe the one up's up there. <gasps> there it is! How? What? What sort of arcane sorcery do they intend from the player to ascend to these heights? Excuse me? What? Alright, I give up. Oh, I think you have to climb a building to the left of it and jump off it blindly in hopes of landing on the on the one-up building. That would make sense. Hey look, we're back here. Alright, we'll play this we'll play this game. Ba, 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 ba. 
So that establishes a checkpoint at the fortune teller. The fortune teller checkpoint is about three seconds into the level, but that's now three seconds we don't have to replay if I miss one of these jumps. I need to play it safe. I've been avoiding all the secrets. I should I should be acquiring the goodies. I've been neglecting to engage with the game on its own terms. I'm not ready to speedrun this. We have to get the health. Oh okay, we don't get the health. Satisfying platforming. Okay, train car one. There should be a health up here. Perfect. This is looking good. So now we need to hold left so I don't fall in the pits. Okay, we're full health so we can safely skip the stuff up there. Climb number one. There's a second climb coming up soon. Oh! Play it safe. Let's go get the health up here. Grab this health. This game doesn't have any sauce to it. I think that's the big problem here. There's just nothing special about this that that elevates it from just being what it is. Like Ness, Rocky, and Bullwinkle had that X factor. It had just the sheer like absurd visuals, the very distinct style of graphics. The music, just the atmosphere of the NES game alone made up for any deficiencies in gameplay and made it fun to play. I was always curious to see what happens next. Like, where are they going to go with this? What sort of insane visuals are you going to see next? <laughs> what are they going to do? And this is just like... You're just you're just jumping and you're just walking and now we're now we're playing football. Like this is pretty cool. I like this. <clears throat> okay. We got a race to the top. And like a level like this isn't bad either. Like the timed ascent, it's cool because this is different. It's it's still just moving and jumping, but the time limit makes it tense. It makes it exciting. There's just not enough. Just, just there's just not enough. <laughs> it's just it's just really bad. All right. Back to the moon. Okay. 
I jump in here? No. Oh, I want to play that goofy game. I am very curious to play that goofy game. That's still one of the Imagineering slash Absolute Entertainment games I have not played. Eventually, with enough time, <laughs> we'll play every Imagineering game. It's gonna happen. I'm pretty excited for, like, Battle Tank. I wanna play Gary Kitchen's Battle Tank. That game might be fun. It might be fun. <laughs> it's an utter slog. Oh. I do love me a slog from time to time. Oh, I thought I super jumped. Nope. Super jump. Into the pit. Ah, this was unnecessary. I'm full health. Like, these enemies are nice. I like enemy variety here. There's little bits and pieces of this game that are good. And then there's large chunks that are not. Oh! Oh, I might have just unlocked a little bit of tech. I may have just leveled up my abilities. We do short hop, short hop, fully charged mega hop. I got hit. There's Bullwinkle, and we're flying. <laughs> Took some unfortunate damage there. I like how it ejects you over a pit. And you have to react and land on a platform, otherwise you die. I love things like that. UFO? I'm gonna get hit again. I'm not gonna get hit. Oh. And now this is the double UFO, so let's set up a big jump. And get lightning after Natasha's dead. And the lightning. The lightning leads you, so you want to. Careful here. <laughs> like a little moon lander spaceship. Ah! Okay, we have a checkpoint. We have checkpointed. We are checkpointed. Whoa. Oh, no. Ah, come on. Look at that! There's there's snacks over there. I wonder how you get the snacks. I wonder how you're supposed to get those snacks. What? Oh no! Oh no! I just wanted snacks. This game really sucks. Flush it. Flush it. <laughs> Flush it. <laughs> Terrible. I, I don't want to, uh, no, flush. <laughs> abort, 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 retreat, retreat, retreat. Get out, oh my god. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. <laughs> I think that's a fitting end to our experience with the Game Boy game. Oh, you know, it's weird.
the Nest, Rocky, and Bullwinkle, I had a great time playing. I really like the Nest, Rocky, and Bullwinkle. That Game Boy game, I just, I, maybe I'm just not in the right mood for it. It was just, it was, it was just so bad. <laughs> and I don't mind bad games. I enjoy bad games. But that was bad in a way that was just unfun. Like, I had to reset from there. It'd take another 20 minutes to get back there. Just boring slog. Oh. <laughs> oh, well. oh, well. Thanks for watching. That'll do it for today. <laughs> Maybe we... No, 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 no. We're not going to replay Game Boy Rock and Bullwinkle. I think that game belongs in the toilet. I think the NES game gets a bad rap. I think the Game Boy game, I can't even, I'm not even going to bother to resize it. Just delete, delete, delete. I think the Game Boy game goes in the toilet. Nest game, all right by me. Thank you for watching. Thank you for hanging out today. Our little excursion away from Drod, our little Drod break. Uh, stream again tomorrow with Drod. We'll go back to puzzle solving. Play more Drod tomorrow. Uh, thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs, the resubs. Thank you, Absurdy, for the raid. Thank you for hanging out. Unfortunately, that Game Boy game just oh, oh, I could, I could really feel <laughs> sinking. I feel like I was sinking into an abyss the longer I played it. We had to evacuate. We had to eject. We had to abort. Mistakes were made, but we righted the wrongs. <laughs> Let's find some to raid. Let's get out of here. Um, who's on? What's going on? Who's playing games? Everybody. Who isn't playing games? Perfect opportunity. Oh, yes, this is a perfect opportunity. Speaking of puzzle games, we're going to raid Lord Goatee, who is playing puzzle games for the Sega Mega Drive, playing Pyramid Magic. <laughs> he might be playing Pyramid Magic for another 10 years. <laughs> we'll wish him well. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. Have a good night. We'll be back tomorrow with Drod. Oh, precious Drod. Life-giving water. Life-giving tar. See you. Farewell. Bye-bye.